Technique 24, Pepper. This joke comes courtesy of my friend Michael. Two antennas met on a roof, fell in love, and got married. The wedding wasn't much, but the reception was amazing. Call and response is a technique in which the teacher asks a question and the whole class calls out the response in unison. Pepper is a fast-paced question and answer between the teacher and all of the students in a class. Uh, it doesn't propose to teach new skills, it's a reinforcement of learned skills. For decades, baseball players have warmed up for games and practices by playing a game called Pepper. In a group of four or five players, one holds a bat, and the rest stand in a ring in front of the batter, a few yards away, gloves at the ready. One player tosses the ball to the batter. Without stopping to catch it, the batter taps it back toward the group using the bat. The nearest player fields it, and again, without stopping, tosses it back to the batter, who hits the toss back to another player. This game is fast, providing dozens of opportunities to practice fielding and hitting skills in a short period of time. This is also in a fast-paced and energetic environment. Okay, Pepper in the classroom works very similarly. A teacher will toss out a question or a group of questions to a student. That student will answer either correctly or incorrectly. If the student answers correctly, the teacher will ask a new question. If the student answers incorrectly, you'll ask the same question of another student, or maybe even the same student. The idea is that you always keep moving. It's fast-paced and unpredictable. In so, you're able to review fundamentals that you've already learned with lots of chances for participation and in rapid succession. Pepper is a really great warm-up activity but it's also effective as an upbeat interlude, uh, as a way to bring energy to class, or as a fun wrap-up review. No matter what, as long as it's productive, engaging, and energetic, Pepper will work for you. Pepper is a technique that is similar to cold call, but there are a few ways that teachers emphasize the fun aspects of this technique. I will show you three ways. One of the trademarks of this technique is its unpredictability. Where each question goes, nobody knows. Now, many teachers will use randomizers to figure out what student is going next. They might use a computer name generator. They might use dice. They might use popsicle sticks with students' names on them. They might have students flip cups. They might have students bounce ping pong balls into cups. The idea is that you want to keep students on their toes. You want to make sure that the questions are coming fast and the answers are coming faster. Friendly competition is another hallmark of Pepper. A teacher can use a head-to-head -head activity having two students stand up to answer a question. Uh, the student who gets the correct answer first remains standing to compete against the new challenger. Survival is another way that you can add flair to this technique. Uh, in this variation, which you should usually do at the beginning or at the end of class, starts with all students standing and the teacher peppering them with really quick questions. Students earn their seats or earn their exit by answering correctly. Pepper is all about speed. You rarely see teachers stopping to discuss and analyze wrong answers. You can make a mental note and go back later on to check. but. You want to make sure that this game keeps moving. The pace is the fun. If you slow down, the game loses all of its luster. In your classroom, every minute matters. So when you use a technique like cold call or pepper, it dictates rapid fire questions in fast succession. Right? What this does is it makes you efficient and it allows you to use precision and urgency when managing your time. Give it a try in your classroom. If you like this video, you can find many more on my Facebook page, Kaizen Teaching. Have a great day.